What's good, y'all? It's Matt LBG, and we are back with another video, man. If y'all new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and if you like videos like this, leave a like down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video, man. Michael Porter Jr., one of the most NBA rated recruits we have ever seen come out of high school, and now suddenly he's not even being talked about? Today, I'm just going to explain to y'all what happened. Michael Porter Jr. had everything going for him. He was the number one overall recruit in high school until a guy named Marvin Bagley reclassified, but that's a different story for another day. Even with that happening, he was still projected to be the number one overall pick in the NBA draft. All he had to do next was play one year of college ball, then he could declare for the draft. He was committed to Washington for a good while, but due to a coaching staff change, he wound up going to Missouri. This actually seemed like a good fit because Missouri had some good talent coming back and they had good talent coming in other than Porter, so it just seemed like things were going to go good. And did that change quickly? As Porter got hurt in only the first two minutes of his first collegiate basketball game, he suffered a back injury and if y'all don't know, back injuries are nothing to play about in basketball. Shortly after the injury, a pretty well known doctor said that Porter would only be out for four weeks. But that was completely false as this was a pretty serious injury and Porter was looking to be out three to four months at least. I don't know why, but even Porter didn't take his injury serious as he even went to Instagram and put on his story that he would be back. Once he started to realize how serious his injury was and there was no pressure for him to come back from coaches or fans, he decided to shut things down. Now the real question is, what will he do? He only played a career total of two minutes of college basketball. Kyrie Irving has the shortest college career for a lottery pick, but with that being said, he still played 11 games and at least proved himself. Michael Porter Jr. hasn't given us anything to look at to base him off of, so because of this, he's dropped down to a projected 20th pick, 25th, just late first round. As college basketball continues, his draft stock is only going to get worse because he's just sitting it out and other players are proving themselves. In my honest opinion, I think Porter will go to the draft, but I wouldn't be surprised if he came back to Missouri for one more year. He's been on the low lately and no one's been talking about him at all, so I just can't wait to see what kind of comeback he's going to have. But yeah man, that's about going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys learned something. If you like videos like this, drop a like, leave y'all comments down below on what y'all think of Michael Porter Jr. And without further ado, I'm out y'all. Peace.